Good morning. This is All India Radio Kohima. The morning news read by Kyatholeno. Nagaland government will today launch the Nagaland Sustainable Development Goals SDG Vision 2030 and District SDG Localization and Integration Manual. The launch of these two documents will play a crucial role to further the process of SDG localization across the state. Chief Minister Nipu Rio will launch the Nagaland SDG Vision 2030, while Planning and Coordination Minister Niba Kronu will launch the District SDG Localization and Integration Manual in Kohima. This will be followed by a state-level workshop on SDG India Index 2020-21 and Multidimensional Poverty Index. The program will be live-streamed on the YouTube channel of MyGov Nagaland. Woka District dispatched 65 metric ton of natural rubber sheets outside the state yesterday. Land Resources Department Woka held a flag of program for dispatching the rubber with Bandari Additional Deputy Commissioner Tiamaran Chang as the special guest. In his speech, Chang lauded the effort made by the Land Resources Department Woka for bringing recognition to Nagaland as a large-scale, high-quality natural rubber-producing state. District Project Officer Tepunol Yore said the department had supported rubber growers under various schemes to cover plantation area of 6,806 hectares till 2020. Yore said Woka District alone produced about 3,154.20 metric ton of rubber sheets during 2020, generating an income of approximately 37.85 crores. India said the situation in Afghanistan is being monitored on a constant basis at high levels. External Affairs Ministry spokesman Arindam Bhakchi said all steps will be taken to ensure the safety and security of its nationals and interest in Afghanistan. The spokesman said India is in constant touch with the representatives of Afghan Sikh and Hindu communities and will facilitate repatriation to India of those who wish to leave Afghanistan. He said the suspension of commercial operations from Kabul airport has forced a pause in India's repatriation efforts. He said there are also a number of Afghans who have been partners in the promotion of mutual developmental, educational and people-to-people -people endeavors and India will stand by them. The security situation in Kabul has deteriorated significantly in the last few days. Kohima District Planning and Development Board, DPDB, yesterday organized a felicitation program for toppers of HSLC examination 2021 from amongst government high schools. During the program, MLA and advisor to government of Nagaland, Dr. Nike Salia Nikikirie, congratulated the top 13th rank holder, Basanti Devi, of government higher secondary school, Jotoma, for her achievement. Kiri said, one will have success when there is determination, devotion and dedication. In her short speech, Basanti expressed gratitude to her teachers and parents for her success. She shared her desire to become a doctor in future. Vice Principal G. H. S. S. Jotsoma Megosevi Kochu in his speech said that it was a great moment for the school and for dear student to be selected for this prestigious award. Dimapur Deputy Commissioner Rajesh Shundararajan released a Nagamis version of COVID-19 SOP on COVID-19 containment and management. The DC said providing copies of the SOP in a local dialect will go a long way in educating the masses, particularly in the rural areas. He extended his appreciation to the District Rural Development Agency, DRDA Dimapur, for this innovative and life-changing work. Project Director Ketositio Sekose said the SOP has been issued by the Center for Peri-Urban, Rural and Tribal Areas. During the function, DRDA Dimapur also gave oxygen concentrator, PPE suits and N95 masks to Dimapur District Task Force. And as the nationwide free COVID-19 vaccination campaign at government facilities for those above 18 years is going on, we advise our young listeners to get vaccinated and also to help others to get vaccinated.
We also advise our listeners not to lower their guard as COVID-19 remains a threat to our health. Please stay at home unless it is essential to go out and continue to follow these three simple steps. Wear a face mask, maintain six feet for social distancing, focus on hand and face hygiene. For any COVID-related information and guidance, contact National Helpline numbers 011-2397-8046 and 1075 and State Helpline number 1800-345-0019. With that, we come to the end of Morning News. Have a nice day.